go through a quick update on the uh, astrophotography setup that I use here in uh, Bristol in the UK, uh, from the telescope to what's in the shed behind me. So without further ado, uh, let's take a look. Okay, starting from the top, this is my Skywatcher, EvoStar 72EB. It's got an objective lens diameter of 72 millimeters and a te telescope focal length of 420 millimeters, giving it a total of f5.8. I chose this scope because I quite like doing the wild, fi uh, the wide field astrophotography. I have, have I have had other scopes, uh, but this one suits my needs at this moment in time. The scope is attached to a Skywatcher EQ3 Pro mount. As you can see, uh, it has uh, a polar scope uh, attached to it. On the front of this, I've actually now put a, a light uh, that you can buy from Skywatcher because the polar scope didn't come with an internal LED, so I've fitted an external LED to it that works really well. The scope itself tracks really well with the weight of the scope. The weight of the scope, um, with everything else that's on there as well, is probably about 2.2 kilos, and the tracking is really working very, very well indeed. Okay, moving on from the uh, main scope itself, on top you'll see that I've got a 50 millimeter guide scope. I picked this one up off of eBay for about 70 pounds. And attached to that is a T7 Astro camera. Again, I picked this one up for about 80 pounds off of eBay. And as a uh, as an auto guider, it works really, really well. Attached to the telescope itself is my Astro photography camera, the Altair Hypercam 183C. Pro. This is my main camera that I use for all my astrophotography and at this present moment of time I've not had any problems with it at all, not looking to upgrade. Um, this is a really really nice camera and uh, I would recommend it as a starting camera for any man that's moving um, from DSLR astrophotography into using a CCD or CMOS uh, sensor type camera. Uh, this one was about £480 when I bought it last year and I've got some really good images with it and it's really nice. Um, it's got an internal fan built in uh, that keeps the temperature down. Uh, unfortunately it's not a regulated fan so you can't, um, you can't get it to go to minus or anything like that. It, it's, it, the fan comes on and off as and when required. Uh, but apart from that um, from a part, from a from a point of view of of noisiness of images and stuff, no, it's really good, really good, really uh, really uh, gets good results with it. Also attached to the uh, telescope is my autofocus. Uh, this is the uh, high tech Astro uh, focus controller and focus unit. Uh, this works uh, very, very well um, and it gets really good uh, focuses. just means now that I don't have to come in and out of the shed on a night to do my focusing and uh, everything works really well. Um, as you can see, I've got um, uh, dew straps on the auto guider uh, scope and on the main scope. Uh, these aren't... Um, run through any sort of uh, dew controller these just run separately and I and they turn on and off um, independently but I'll show you how that works now so in, able, in order for me to be able to use things individually on this scope um, I've got a USB uh, 7 port USB with individual uh, switches so uh, each one of these, you've got the autoguider camera, the main camera, the dew strip 
for the main scope, the dew strip for the guide scope and also um, the USB that leads from the high tech um, focuser. Uh, again all this runs all the way through back to the shed and I can, as I said if I don't require something I'll just turn it off and not use it on a night. Using this uh, USB uh, port system it's enabled me to tidy up the cables and um, there's a damn sight tidier than it was a, a couple of months back uh, where it was quite a bit of a mess and sometimes some of the cables might get caught um, which means I would have to come out of the shed or come out of the house and um, basically sort a problem out. Uh, well that's it, that's the, that's the scope and everything that's on the scope uh, in a nutshell. Um, what we'll do now is we'll go and I'll show you uh, everything that's in the, uh, the shed or the control centre itself. So this is inside the shed, so as you can see this is where I sit, these are the two monitors, uh, one has a APT or astrophotography tool on it, that's why that's the main software I tend to use, the other two would have PHD2 and Stellarium on it, um, you'll have a closer look at that in a moment. Um, I've insulated the interior, um, one because uh, it keeps it warm during the winter, and also it keeps it quite cool during the summer. Lighting is via LEDs which go all the way around the interior. Obviously you can change the different colours. So white is your normal white. Uh, then you've got the red which I use on a night when I'm doing my uh, astrophotography. I will take a closer look at the uh, PC and the monitors. So this is the control centre inside the shed. The first bit of software I use is Astrophotography Tool and that's on monitor one in front of you. Uh, the second piece of software I use is PHD2 uh, for the guiding and also I use uh, Stellarium and they're normally displayed on monitor two which is the top monitor here. Um, and that's pretty much it. Everything is controlled um, via the uh, PC uh, which is down there and that runs back to the telescope outside. Um, as I said uh, the lighting is um, done by LED. You can see the strip lights here. Just change the colour there. There we go. And back to red. Um, I'm still in the process, I've got to put a few shelves up and bits and pieces, but this works really well. Also, once I've finished setting up out here, uh, what I tend to do then is I tend to turn on Team Viewer and I run everything from my computer inside the house via the Wi-Fi. Uh, so I'm not sat in the shed every night, all night. Once uh, everything's running nicely and I'm happy I will go back and I'll run everything from the house. I'm also in the process of uh, creating an all sky cam. The all sky cam itself is working fine and uh, works a treat. I'm in the process of building um, a unit for it to sit on uh, which is an old vanilla ice cream tub all the electrics are inside the tub uh, with one cable that goes down the uh, tube which is an old fishing rod tube and then the cable heads back over to the, uh, the shed over there and I use some software called All Sky Cam I think it is. Uh, the software itself is all sky, A L L S K E Y E. I'll put the links to all the software and all the bits and pieces I use uh, below this video anyway, so you can have a look. Um, and that is uh, pretty much it. Uh,
So I hope you've enjoyed uh, this uh, overview of all the astrophotography equipment I use uh, here in uh, Bristol. Um, as I said, all the relevant links will be below this video. And uh, see you soon and clear skies. Cheers.